Tell me about Trevor. Oh man, Trevor. I think Trevor needs to realize that he is enough. Yeah, baby. What's the biggest jump you've hit on this this rig? 75 feet. I probably took it like 85 feet. <laughs> There's the whale tail, sorry. There's the whale tail. See it? There's the whale tail. Whale tail. Whale tail. What's your plan for that whale tail? If everything works out, I'm feeling up to it. Uh, I'm gonna try to back you off the second whale tail. Just have to get enough speed and just have to grow the cojones. <laughs> Spinal cord injuries suck. They really do. Every single spinal cord injury is like a snowflake, so they're never the same. But the one thing that is a, a baseline for every spinal cord injury is they suck. My name is Roy Tuscany. I am the founder and the CEO of the High Fives Foundation. So when I first met Trevor, we were hosting a U.S. Paralympic camp. Trevor moved out west to live in a beautiful area of the country and get to snowboard on the regular. So Trevor, living in Vail Pass, goes out, builds a kicker like all us do, you know, that want to experience the backcountry land and that soft powder. He unfortunately had an accident that day, which caused his life to completely change. 2014, November 15th, I hit a 10-foot kicker on top of Vail Pass caught on the edge right off the jump. Flying through there like a Superman, tucked my head, landed on my back. I knew right away, right when that happened. Lay there from 4 to 7.30 at night in a blizzard. You know, I was going in and out, so cold. Didn't think I was gonna make it out that last like hour, hour and a half. <laughs> filming you. No, you're filming me. I'm filming you. You're filming me. That's what the cameras are saying to each other right now. How is the <laughs> Who's filming who? In your Tell me more about High Fives Foundation. What do they do? It's a non-profit started in 2009 by Roy Tuscany. Yeah, that's not anybody other than probably Michaela Schifrin. Yeah, that's Michaela. Dude, she rips. Woo! 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 That was <laughs> that was sick. Yo, I wanna go get her autograph. Why wouldn't you, man? They help athletes with life-altering injuries, and they basically help you live life again. <laughs> Tell me about the bro love. It's more like, uh, see, so like, everybody calls him Baby T, and like, <laughs> I'm Big T, because my last name starts with a T, but his first name starts with a T. Sometimes Trevor is the mentor, and sometimes I am. But between the two of us, it's um, it's a big baby, big T uh, approach. Yeah, and it's like, you know, I never had a brother, and so is that brother I never had. But wait a second. Uh, really quickly, that line, that wheel tail. There's the wheel tail. See you soon. What's the plan? We're gonna go to the wheel tail and hopefully backy this. I clipped the tip on the last try. All right, let's fucking get this. Come on, Trev.
Fuck. I knew right away, right when it happened. Instantaneously paralyzed from the belly button down. They got me down to the ambulance and down to Denver and then got surgery the next morning. A shattered T11, T12, uh, punctured my spinal cord and dislocated my back. No sensation, no feeling, no motor skills. This whole idea of living this life of skiing every day instantly came to, to a halting stop right then and there. Your life is going to change. And Trevor decided real quickly that he could do one of two things. Even though I seem super happy, you know, I don't care who you are. Everyone goes through the ups and downs. I was pretty addicted to pain pills before my back surgery. So, you know, getting off pain pills was a struggle. So I went through probably two, three, like, really, really good depressions in my injury. He could feel sorry for himself, or he could say, hey, I'm gonna harness the power of, of this injury, and I'm gonna see what I can take out of it. Uh, about a year after my injury, my sister and my brother-in-law got me into uh, skiing again. So, high five, we had this camp out in the Alpine Meadows. I got selected to go to nationals for ski racing. High five sent me to Dallas to train down in uh, Adaptive Training Foundation. They got me my first rig. They bought me a car, trips, going surfing, doing stuff that normal people would do, and they basically help you live life again. I mean, High Five Foundation has saved my life. Getting to see Trevor smile on the mountain is a beautiful thing. The positivity that he puts forth in his skiing on a day-to-day -day basis, the kid is a natural bubble. My name is Trevor Kennison, and we are here in Mammoth, Colorado. Just kidding. Mammoth, California. He's a Cheshire cat, man. It's just constantly smiling. What up, doggy? We live in. Oh, what's up? Yeah, Peter Brown. Yeah. Nice to meet you, yeah, finally. You too, dude. Hey, Michaela. How's it going? I'm Trevor. I know uh, Thomas Walsh pretty well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seeing him be side by side, some of the, the best able bodied athletes in the world. And everybody looking at him and saying, that guy's the best. Yeah, I just saw you rip down and you fucking crushed it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Trevor is a, a million times better skier than me. But every time we go out skiing, Trevor makes me feel like I'm a better skier than him. Yeah, Roy, rip it up, baby! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Trevi! It's too good! Crippleness is only a freaking mindset, right? Exactly. It's like, it's 100% able and, you know, God, I can't wait to see the footage of Trevor hitting this jump because it's going to be dandy. Absolutely dandy. It'll be deep too. Tell about Trevor. Oh man, Trevor. I think Trevor needs to realize that he is enough. When we get wrapped up into what the future looks like, right, let's do this. we get these anxious moments. As an athlete, he's already left a mark to change the perception of the sport of adaptive skiing. It's okay, it, it's totally good. Don't future trip out. Overshooting that jump that day, there was a, a massive amount of pain. But none of this beauty would have ever happened. The future causes anxiety. The present completes you. Every single day is a day to be grateful and just blessed to be in this world. And that's the beauty. It's that beautiful symphony. It's bliss. I can say it so many times, but Roy Tuskin, he saved my life. That was the whole idea behind High Fives. It was born from a tragic event here at Mammoth, but this spinal cord injury has brought me so much amazingness. Dude, 
This thing is ginormous. Standing right here, this is exactly where I broke my back. Feeling all the energy from this space, like literally like right there. Love you, bro. Love you, man. Well, if you never broke your back, you know, you never really started high fives. Right? Like, dude, what a fucking, what a story, man. Story to sit here with you, Trevi. Pretty fucking honored, dude. So being here at Mammoth, there is no fear being here anymore. I have gotten to be so blessed. I, I gotta pay it forward. I've gotta create an avenue for others that don't have the community, that don't have the support that I did. My life has changed, and now I'm gonna change the life of others. My name is Roy Tuscany. I am the founder and the CEO of the Hi-Fi's Foundation.